what's up guys of course welcome to the video of course me the cigar and and yeah due to time constraints um and due to a lot of snow here in sweden i've been kind of forced to work a lot more hours than i wanted which means that this recording has to be a bit more lazier than i wanted and so we're going up against the uh, dallas story this time or trip and his channel is going to link down below as always and um before going in, we need to, of course, tell you guys which team he has. And he has a Dragonite, Arcanine, Waba Fett, Snorlax, Florgius, Raichu, Scissor, Breloom, Celebi, and Mega Medicham. And um, he actually did a pretty big um, bench play and actually bench Quagsire for, I believe, it was Florgius, was it Breloom? Uh, one of those, and I thought that was really weird considering my team, but it also meant that I don't need Shaman because of that. Uh, because without Quagsire, I can't set up with Enemon, I so desire. Now, I don't necessarily need to set up a whole lot, but I have to recognize that his team is actually quite bulky, and I uh, have to kind of treat it like that. So, um, with all that said, our first mod we're going to bring this time is uh, Gengar. Obviously, this is on the screen. And we're going to go with Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, Focus Blast, and Taunt. Uh, we need maximum speed to be able to actually outspeed, or not outspeed, but speed type would write you, which is his possibly only mod that is uh, faster than anything. Outside of that, we are faster. Um, taunt is there to prevent Wobbuffet from doing anything, uh, especially defensive Gengar, uh, or especially defensive Arcanine, which could stall with uh, Morning Sun. Uh, prevent Lorgias from passing wishes, uh, prevent Breloom from sporing, uh, prevent uh, Dragonite from Dragon Dancing, and then prevent this for defogging. Um, pretty straightforward. The main purpose of Gengar is actually to be able to hurt things a lot and stop the things that don't want to get hurt. Um, so pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> basic. Next one, Heracross, also pretty straightforward. And... Uh, it's got basically floor just gets it off guard and goes for a toxic or anything like that and the combination of uh, right, oh yeah the speed investment is enough to outspeed a jolly dragon at plus one if so the services are scarfed after all uh, the combination of close combat mega horn stone edge hits everything pretty much super effectively outside of floor just, and we have knock off as filler uh, don't really see how it can hurt floor just efficiently do a close combat does roughly 40% on it, so if I'm forced to attack, then that's going to be the move to go for. Um, like I said, pretty straightforward, uh, nothing to it. It's uh, It will work well, uh, no matter the situation, if you just intend to scarf it, and we can't take it fake out and stuff like that, so not particularly scared. Uh, Empoleon, though, pretty straightforward, that set too. Um, we have a Scald, Ice Beam, Flash Gun, and Self Rocks. We don't need Defog this battle. Mostly because they only have one potential stealth rocker, and that would be Celebi. And the other thing is that I really don't think he, if you bring Celebi, he's probably not gonna go for that. And I'm not particularly weak to stealth rocks anyway, outside of Thunders, which we talked about down below, uh, or as followed. Um, <clears throat> we have enough speed investment to not be KO'd from a superpower from Scissor. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the. That's the reason for needing defense investment. Uh, that is at full health, of course. Um, Sugar Barrage is there to make sure that um, Dragonite's uh, plus one Earthquake won't kill us, and uh, Earth Power from uh, Celebi won't kill us. And pretty much if Snorlax uh, is going to attack us, at least we can phase that up. Uh, the combination of Skull, Ice Beam does a lot of damage on this team, uh, except for, of course, Snorlax and Florgias, which is going to be annoying. Uh, Flash kind of should be a treat KO depending on the set, which is something that we keep mentioning, though I'm not particularly fond of attacking the floor, yes, but if I have to, then opponent is going to be the one to do so. The next one is probably the funniest of the, of the mods I bring in, Grapeon. And, uh, hey! True! Toxic Spikes! Hey! <laughs> uh, and also, I decided to go for Battle Armor out of, um, instead of Sniper, just have that said. Not that it's matter. We have the combination of Poison Jab, Knock Off, Taunt, and Toxic Spike. Toxic Spike, because I only need one layer of Toxic Spike to make sure that everything is poisoned. And pretty much, due to my team having a bit more stamina this time, I can actually phase off a lot of mods, and having them toxic is important. Uh, taunt is there to make sure that uh, Scissor can't defog against it. It's pretty much a dead end, and it, not necessarily that... Uh, 
I'm sorry, that um, uh, Sisu can do anything if this is uh, SD set and probably could break through, but I have the mods to deal with that too, so I don't really particularly worry about it. And enough speed to be able to actually outspeed Dragonite before. Uh, or is this, if it is an adamant Dragonite, it can set up uh, Dragonite's gifts because I'm taunted. I'm gonna taunt everything, I'm a taunter this game, Fenefin, and I need a cough, sorry. Hmm, <coughs> splendid. So anyway, uh, Poison Jab Knockoff does really good damage against this whole team. Um, like I said, the speed is also enough to outspeed Realm if there is a more... Um, oh, how do you say it? If there is a more <coughs> uh, physical set that is, uh, or speed is set, then I will be able to outspeed it. So not that worried. Drapion's main purpose is to kind of set up the spike safely and fall while it does hurt the mounts that matters, it's not the Pokemon I'm going to preserve. I needed the poison uh, or the toxic spike to be there, and then I should be fine. It, it's that just about the size of it. Um, next mount, Thunderous, and probably the mount that's gonna win us the game <laughs> in the end. Uh, we have the combination of Thunderbolt, Sludge with Focus Blast, and Nasty Plot. And um, I was debating, um, also, yeah, Life Orb and stuff like that too, I guess. Um, but I was debating having a bulk up set at first and defiant um, because I know the superpower would just destroy Snorlax. But I also know that after the nasty plot, Focus Blast also wanted KOs the Snorlax were close to. If you have the toxic spikes up, we should probably be just about fine. A regular Focus Blast does around 60% if it is a fully invested one. So that's something to keep in mind. But that two plus two should kill it, basically. Um, of course, if it's in a salt or anything like that. Um, outside of that, it's um, it's timid and it's fully de de uh, what do you call it? It's fully yuck. I can't speak today. That's why I do the pre-recordings instead of this. <laughs> but um, enough speed, of course, to have speed right too. So he has nothing that is faster than his founders outside of potential scarfer. And, like I said here, if I pull off a nasty plot, I pretty much win the game. He has no mods I can take that hit from his mom, which is important to know. But I also don't have too many situations where I can set up, which is something that's going to be frustrating. And um, the last one is, of course, Landris, and um, also pretty straightforward set. It's um, a bit more physically oriented. Um, it has a Yasha Berry to uh, make sure to um, <laughs> out. Uh, it has Yasha Berry to survive the Ice Punch, basically, from the Medisham, or potential uh, Ice Punch or Ice Beam from Dragonite. So, nothing to it, nothing too serious. And um, Earthquake Stonish combination hurts everything a lot. And U-turn is there to pretty much bar Celebi if I'm forced to stay in against it. Um, and Intimidate basically is there to make sure that Fake Out from Medishap will not hurt. At best, they do around 10%. And uh, like I said, Ice Punch does... I do believe we called it from 87 to 104 um, at minus 1. So that's something that we keep in mind of. Uh, should definitely not be too worried. Um... I do believe we have enough speed to make sure to outspeed Jolly Dragonite if it is unboosted. And uh, if we get some prior damage on the Dragonite, then Stone is going to pretty much oco it. Uh, if we miss the Stone Age, that is, of course. That's, you know, always a thing, if anything. But yeah, pretty much that, that's it. I mean, if I should comment the Rock Polish, I'd say it's there to make sure that the monster could outspeed Lando particularly, of course, Medisham and Raichu is not able to uh, outspeed. Basically, uh, it's filler. Um, that's pretty much to it. Like, um, that's the main idea. It's it's pretty straightforward. I think I prepared for his team rather well this time. And um, gotta make sure to not battle that late. Um, so yeah, like I said, Due to time constraint, I'm doing this a bit lazy and a bit fast, but that's the main idea here. If you have any questions, make sure to write them down down below. But I think the team speaks for itself. And also, big shout out as always to Ellis and Rob, who helped me construct this. We had a pretty much the same general idea going into this battle. I wanted, like I said, um, bulk of Thunderous, but um, the issue with that is that he has so many mods I could deal with that properly. So I, I hope I don't have to eat that up, but at the same time, like I said, it might just not be worth it. Like I said, 
after one nasty blood, I pretty much win the game with Thunder, so I know that. Um, I guess I should say which mods I do predict him use this battle. Um, since it brought in... I think it brought in... <laughs> I brought in Breloom, not Thoyas, I'm sorry. But I think if I had to make a um, qualified suggestion here, I'm seeing Dragonite, Arcanine to be able to deal with a Volcarona, Snorlax, Florgius, Sister because it needs a spinner, and... Realm since it brought it. Those are six I'm seeing. Um, I think that was six, yeah. Snorlax, oh yeah, I should probably say this. If, if he uses Snorlax, it's going to have Pursuit, I'm sure of it, to bar my Gengar. Uh, I know that to Pursuit, if I say doesn't really kill me, it's close to killing me. Um, but I should be able to leave it. I think I have a the two it kill Aria if it was fully invested uh, was that I have eleven percent of being two it kill. No, 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 no. That that was sorry. That was that was not it. Um, let's see. Sorry. Eighteen. All right. So I have a chance of actually being two it kill, but uh, it's not that big. So um, that's something that we're keeping in mind. But outside of that, I should be, I should be fine there. And I should do, if he uses Snorlax, I'm going to have to make sure to do as much damage as possible on it, so I don't <clears throat> so I don't have to rely on anything else. But yeah, that's pretty much the size of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like I said, very late this time, and I will make it up for you next time. And make sure to see Trip's video, because it's going up the same, pretty much the same time, and um, you'll see his plan against me. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow, and you will see how the game went. So don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.